Alrighty, guys. It's Thursday, the 23rd of May. We're we'll tackling Triple Threat by the Trads. So this is the second track of the day that's going to involve the desert car, but based on its name, I'm going to guess that this has all three cars in it. Well, four. There's at least Snow Car. Oops, no, no, no. We start in Snow Car. Oh my god. Okay, we're slow enough that I don't have to worry. Oh my god. Okay, do I want to like slow down there? I keep hitting I keep hitting the screenshot button. What the heck? Or maybe I take it at like a super... I don't know. Maybe I just jump. I'll just do the jump for now. Oh. It's the old... Yeah, I want the better action key. Oh, this is ice. Oh god. Plastic? Oh my god. I've not really done much plastic r rally car. Maybe I break there too. I stand on the ground more there, I think. Oh my god, plastic! Rally plastic. All right, here we go. Desert car. The most controller friendly. Underwater desert car. What is this? <laughs> Just the little bit of desert car we get in this track is underwater. up to see if that would help and it looks like it may have oh my god to keep doing that that way but and the let up definitely seems to be good oh god Oh my god, you don't want to do that. Oh, 
Hold on. There we go. A lot of people made these maps. I don't even think the desert car section is going to be the hard part. I think the hard part I'm going to find is the... This rally car section. Okay. <clears throat> I like how that's going. Just need to do it better. That's really bad. I don't know how to... I've never rallied with plastic. Or I've never done rally with plastic. better. Okay, don't. Nice. There's the gold. Let's keep going. I think I'm sliding a little bit in that underwater section. Hard to tell because one, I can't hear my engine, and two, I can't see any skid marks. <coughs> it feels like I'm sliding just slightly. Hit the wall. Okay. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I don't need to worry about... I think that's the point of that being wood, is... Rally car is super slidey on most surfaces. Except wood, where it has grip. Like, wood is like the universal, everything has grip. Though, from what I've seen... Um... <laughs> uh... What is it? If I can... Uh... Desert car has grip on a lot of surfaces. <laughs> His grip on grass. It basically has grip on all the surfaces except ice. Um, yeah. But rally car is kind of like the opposite. It has... It doesn't really... It slides on most things at high speed. Except wood. Which is what that is. Uh, and so I can lay off the action key there. No, I hit the wall. Take that ultra super mega wide and then miss. Okay. Desert. I hit the wall. Good. Does the car just like not have any control with reactor boost? I feel like in <clears throat> any other car, if I'm reactor boosting up through water and I steer in a direction, now this is not a scenario I've had the ability to experience with any of the other cars except stadium car as of, as of yet, but I'm feeling like um I feel like I'd have some level of control over my steering in those scenarios I, dude, reactor down desert car must be insane because it then it then doesn't have any tilting problems. <laughs> you can just go as fast as you want and turn and it'll just stay on the ground. That's the big problem with desert car is that it is top heavy. It's crazy, because, like, the snow car, it makes sense that it's top-heavy. It's a short... It's got, like, a short distance between the front wheels and the back wheels. And it's tall. I'd look at that and go, yeah, that makes sense that it kind of wants to roll over. But not the desert car. Their car definitely doesn't look like it want to roll over. Also, that's penalty. Oh, that's penalty sand, so technically I should be... ...wiggling. Uh, because, um... ...desert car... 
actually can go faster on penalty surfaces if you wiggle back and forth onto two wheels at a time because you're technically... Because I think then I think in that transition there might be some time where you're not on the penalty surface. I don't know. I just know that wiggling back and forth in the desert car is the fastest way to go across penalty surfaces. Oh my god. Maybe I'll get out of an action key there. I'm wiggling back and forth. I'm like trying to provoke the car to go up on two wheels. I touch the sand. You don't want to touch the sand. One of my friends just recently got a steering wheel. I mean, I've I, he's kind of the reason I wanted a steering wheel. Um, and why I have a steering wheel now. Um, so we play other racing games. Um, he just asked me if Trackmania has good force feedback. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have force feedback except for whenever you crash. But I also don't think you'd want force feedback in Trackmania. Um, my opinion is that I don't think you should want force, you would want force feedback in Trackmania. I know that other people, I know specifically Granati doesn't use force feedback. He turns off the vibration completely. Which is the only force feedback in this game, so that's what I'm going to call it. Maybe called vibration, but it's not. It, it, when the car wrecks, you f the wheel shakes like a crazy person. Um, I don't think anyone would want force feedback because this game's not meant to be real um and i think there are times in this game where you're actually you're you would actively be fighting against force feedback like you'd be doing something that the car um that like the car would not want to do and i feel like why fight that why why have something that you have to fight game's not about that. Okay. The game doesn't try to be realistic, so why does it need force feedback? It's not going to train you. Because if it had force feedback, any amount of, like, inability to do something because of the force feedback is just something that you wouldn't have as a controller or keyboard player, so you have to think about that too. It's like, you're, are you hindering yourself purposefully? Oh, I opened... No! <laughs> I pressed camera 7. You don't want to purposefully hinder yourself. Like in, in reality, this game's probably a controller game. Like, you're probably gonna do better with a controller. It's unfortunately how it is. I understand that, and I just like to play keyboard because I still can do pretty good. Okay. I don't know if that wiggle back and forth that I did up there was anything, but, you know, it did something. Definitely got, like, almost a second of improvement, so that's good. Oh my god. Oh, 
behind already. That's good. I do like this. Who knows if it's actually the right line. But I do like that rally car line. Through the dirt. Well, don't overturn. overturn. Come on, I get that this track is supposed to be like showing off all the cars. All the old cars, but come on. Like. Stadium's a car too. Stadium's a car too. And it was the one that was in this game first. Not like Trackmania as a whole, but in this game first. I want all four. On a track where we're, where, 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 where we gotta be good at all of them. Oh my god. that worked. Whoa, don't do that. I turned off action key there and it was bad. I've seen a lot I, I watched a lot of videos of people complaining. Like a lot of like <clears throat> I don't know if it was a complaint. They just made a note, it's like the 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 desert car is very thick. And I'll agree, it's very thick. Um but I think that it looks good like that. I'm also from America, where a muscle, where that, like, where a muscle car, and, and well, maybe not, maybe, maybe I don't want to say that, because muscle cars don't just, like, exclusively exist in America. And it's not like they don't, uh, they're probably less frequent, but they also probably don't just not, they probably do exist in some capacity. And in, and muscle cars like that are that way. <laughs> they just are. They're thick like that. When I look at that car, when I look at the the desert car, I think, oh, that's like a challenge, like a, a Dodge Challenger or that kind of shape of car. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense for a car for for. I, I get I get very heavy American slash desert vibes with the desert car. Um, and so when I look at the car that they redesigned, I'm like, yeah, that's an American muscle car in all its thickness. Oh, I turned too hard. Oh, I like the thickness of the, of the desert car. It's probably the same size. Actually, it's probably not. I do think that the rally and the snow car are smaller, but it's probably the same width 
as the regular Trackmania car, as the stadium car. Or maybe a bit wider, and I'm totally okay with that. When they add, um, friggin' Canyon, I'm sure those two cars are gonna look very similar. Canyon will probably be a more round car. Can <laughs> Canyon and... Canyon Desert... Canyon and Desert and then Rally and Valley are gonna be two cars that are gonna have a very similar look. I kinda... so... I really like the TM2 Rally car. Or, sorry, Valley car. I like the way that that car looks. Like a hatchback like this one. Um, I don't like the, like, the Beetle look. Like the Volkswagen Beetle look that the um, Trackmania Turbo Valley has. I would much prefer them stick with, like, a closer rendition of... The Trackmania 2 car. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't go in an action key there. Maybe, you know what, we'll watch the GPS. We're close to the end of the video, but we should watch the GPS. Oh, look at all these people. These are all the people who made it. There's Rexosaurus. XLRB. The Shiraz. Yeah, that makes... Yeah, mm-hmm. These all make sense. All these lines make sense. Doesn't look like there's any braking, which is what I expected. Yeah, a little bit of wiggling, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Makes sense that they go very tight in. Very high on that, yeah. Oh, you don't want that. No, oh, I went right into that gap. Oh my god, and it's the end of the video. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Or we'll tackle whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. I don't know why that didn't work. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all later.